Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and today we're going to be updating a bit on the Spider-Man drop, so we have a bit more information in regards to some of the upcoming uh, additions that we're going to be getting, as well as um, just kind of what makes them different, because everyone's been kind of saying they just look like the exact same Spider-Man, um, just in different poses, but there is a key distinction between some of them, so we're just going to be touching on that. Um, we are also going to be kind of, uh, looking at the price of OMI for today and um, again just another quick update with regards to some of the uh, more website side of it as well so um, without further ado we'll just go straight into it now Vivi they have posted today a couple more um, of the different versions of Spider-Man now initially I thought when I first saw the second one I thought okay the first one is the Amazing Spider-Man the second one it didn't say Amazing Spider-Man um, it just said um, I think it was which one was it? it was this one hanging out so that to me i thought okay maybe their first appearances because the first one is the amazing spider-man the second one could be a very similar looking more classic uh, variation but i think they are literally just the same spider-man because now we've got the third one which is the uh, jump into action one so that, that begs the question is are all of these going to be first editions because to me it would be a bit confusing if you would have up to five of the exact same Spider-Man and every single one of them is first edition. I don't see how that works. Um, if they have different versions of Spider-Man, I could then see, okay, maybe, you know, one could be a first edition, the other one could be a first edition of that version. But it seems like, you know, if all of them are first edition, then that just confuses me even more with what a first edition is. But, um, sorry, first appearance. I keep saying first edition, first appearance. Um, but you know um we'll have to see but on that point you know david you he has kind of uh shared these as well i did have a look to see if there were any clues um i couldn't see anything from david but on the uh ecomi twitter i was kind of just uh you know trolling trevor and i said drive will spider-man confirmed but ecomi replied and they said to be fair these are going to be way better than a driver than a drivable version <laughs> Um, so that kind of got me thinking, what is it that could be a key differentiator? Um, and Noah, he did actually say the higher rarities may have some surprises. No new characters though. So we know that they're all going to be Spider-Man, all five of them, but the higher rarities will have something unique. So I, that kind of makes me question that you know the ones that we have shown i said that the ones that we were shown first these are probably going to be the uh, common ones the first one was probably going to be the common um that makes me think yes the ones that we have been shown already are the commons um but the rarer ones that we may not have been shown yet there may be something unique about them i suspect um some kind of interactivity with your showroom because marvel a while ago they did release an ar spider-man app and spider-man could kind of hang from a ceiling i suspect they may integrate something similar in vv so if you imagine your showroom you could have your spider-man hanging from the ceiling of your showroom and he can kind of um sort of move upwards um from the web that he's hanging from on the ceiling that's kind of what the ar app was doing as well um from marvel so probably some kind of animation or interactivity is my guess on the rarer versions so that is pretty cool. Um, now, they have also added Spider-Man to the VV website. So that's pretty nice as well. That's just going to raise more awareness because this is literally the first thing that you see when you come to the VV site is Spider-Man. And it's a pretty nice looking one. It says first appearance. Marvel first appearance, the amazing Spider-Man. This is the version that they're showing here. I question if all of them are going to be first appearance because surely only one of them should be first appearance if they are the exact same versions. But what is also really cool is they now have updated the um, page to show the Marvel logo on the uh, left hand side. So that is pretty cool as well. Um, I think that's just going to raise more awareness of Marvel. So yeah, definitely some really cool stuff there. Um, now, what I did just want to touch on quickly is just the price of Omi for today. So as we can see, we were continuing to just trade on this very, very slight uptrend again. Um, I suspect when the Spider-Man drop uh, happens, we will probably see a bit of a sell-off, but we are targeting for Immutable X and the MTL end of this month. I suspect if 
we miss that deadline, we will have a seller for Vomi. Um, that's just what happens. But if you know we hit it, we will have a short term pump followed by a correction, which is kind of what we always seem to see. Um, but after the correction, we will be trading higher than you know the average of what we were trading on the previous week. So you know it is slow and steady, yes, but at the same time. Um, every time we get a solid bit, uh, solid piece of no, solid piece of news, we do continue to trade slightly higher than what we were trading on average um, before on the uh, kind of um, moving average. So, what I suspect is we will continue on this trend line. We will break this trend line here and just continue to move upwards as we get the MTO and um, immutable X news. But for the time being. You know, I am going to continue to accumulate OMI. I'm going to look for either this point here or if we break below and hold below, then I'll set a pending buy back here again. Although I doubt it's going to come back this slow for a while. Um, if we hit the immutable, if we miss the immutable X and MTO deadlines, then yes, I believe it will come down this slow. Or um, with the founder token unlocks coming in a week, uh, if we get enough, you know, people generating FUD based on that then a lot of the new investors might sell and we may come back down here to this key point of support. But apart from that, you know, my strategy is always to dollar cost average. I don't go in at one price point. Um, and that is, you know, if a new investor came into OMI, that's kind of the advice I would give to them, you know, not financial advice, just what I would do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through with you guys today. Um, we do have the uh, Millennial Omi stream coming up next week, Wednesday. Um, so it'll be me, Tapstray, Daniel Lee, Wannabe Champ. We have a special guest joining us as well, so do join that. And yeah, as always, please do like, subscribe, support the content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.